Hello, and yeah, good morning from Karen. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen again. We're still in social isolation situation and it's not too bad when the weather's poor, but when we've got a great forecast, I do feel for people, it's one of our, well, both of our daughters live in flats with no outside space of their own at all. One of them's got two small children. So I feel, I feel really, really, really grateful that we have a small uh, garden. It is small, handkerchief, but we, we've got a garden. And the forecast today is for a really, really good afternoon. So I am actually doing some barbecue food because remember, you, you know, this situation is not going to last forever. We've got the future to look forward to, lovely days out in the sunshine. So these recipes, if you can't do them now, you'll be able to do them in the future. I'm, I'm going to do a couple of sides to go with the barbie uh, first, and then I'll take a break and come back and, and prepare the, the, the barbecue meat. You could do loads of different sides. You all know, don't you? You know, you can do coleslaws, you can do ordinary salads, so you can do pasta. I've chosen to do a couscous and potato salad because I've got it in the stuff. This is what we're doing at the moment, aren't we? We're adapting our lives to use up every last tiny bit of uh, food that we've got in the larder. And having a bit of fun with it. We've got to keep, look, I've got my summer, I've got my summer stripes on. <laughs> yes. So, couscous. First up, I'm going to put, I've got 100 grams of couscous, which is semolina. So it's, it's an African grain. And I've got the same amount of stock. It's just water, 100 millilitres. And I've put half a stock cube in. And that's going in there. So hopefully, what's going to happen with that? I'm going to put in as well, while it's still, I've got some Cajun. That is not Moroccan couscous, but it's all I've got handy. So I'm putting a sprinkling of that into there. Um, and then I just cover that up and let it absorb, cover it up with, yes, a Christmas tea towel. I'm just going to put that to one side and let it absorb the stock and then that's custom made. All you do then is add your extra bits. Potato salad in the meantime. What I did with this is I used two leftover jacket potatoes. They were quite small, not as big as my fist. So you can use any cooked potato. You can cook it specially. You can get tin potatoes, or like I've got here, I've just got the two that were left over from another meal. I've got two small potatoes cooked and chopped up, three small spring onions. Out of my garden, this is not essential. This is trimming. And now that spring onions aren't, use any onion, bit of onion. And these are chives just for decoration. And then I've got some plain yogurt. Can use mayo, obviously. And because I like it with potato, I've got a bit of mustard. So all we need to do with this is mix it all together. It could not be simpler. So the potatoes and the spring onions are going in to a bowl. There you go. Season with salt and pepper, just a little bit. I'm going to mix the yogurt. You can see it's not much, but anything creamy. Most people use mayo, but I haven't got any. Not. And then this is that mustard that you put on hot dogs, but it can be Dijon or whole grain. Okay, you don't need much, and you don't need any if you haven't got mustard. Um, in your house, or you don't like mustard, it doesn't matter. And then let me fetch it up. It's not a lot, this, but there's only two of us, you know, and we'll be having lots of other bits and pieces. That, my friends, is how quickly you can make potato salad from scratch. I'm going to pop it into something nice to put it in until we need it later this afternoon. Pop it into the fridge in a bit. 
And, you know, I mentioned the chives. Again, I've only got these because we've got them in the garden. So I'm just going to sprinkle. Chip, 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 chip. Maybe for good measure, just because I've seen it, a little bit of olive oil. Non-essential. Potato salad as a side for the barbecue. Back to the couscous. Back to the couscous. Fab. I'm just going to fork that around with a fork. <laughs> just move it about to separate the grains. It's taken that colour because you remember I put some stock cube and a little bit of um, any spice. I use Cajun, you could use smoked paprika, you could use turmeric, you can use non, you can use chilli flakes, whatever you fancy. And then into this, I'm going to put a bit of salt. Um, in, in Moroccan food, they quite often use fruit, dried fruit. So I've got a few sultanas. Here you go. I've got, <clears throat> I've got half, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I've got half a yellow pepper chopped up, I've got a few cherry tomatoes and half a red onion, again, you can use any bits and bobs you've got, you can use frozen peas, you can use a red pepper, you can use a white onion, you can use bits of broccoli, chopped up cooked beans, green beans. Um, I'm just popping those into the couscous, like you saw. I'm just going to give those a twizzle through. Very, very healthy this. It is if you're watching your way. And I am first going to, this is non-essential, but it is a bit indulgent to put a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil. Mix it in. Another lovely dish. Decant it through into that. This looks great. Beautiful. There you go. Just the right quantity for this dish. Let's get them showing a few bits of colour on the top there. Couscous side dish. So we have our two sides for our barbecue later today. We have got potato salad from scratch and couscous from scratch. Right, so I'm resuming the uh, barbecue theme shortly with the meat. I've already got soaking, so you need to prepare, if you've got them, if you're doing this, some wooden bamboo skewers soaking in water. And that's as much prep as I've done for that. So, see you later. Barbecue time. Bye for now. Welcome back. Right, so in the first half of the video, we prepared the side dishes, the salad bits. This time, it's the, it's the meat. I'm not going down the burger route today. We're just doing some marinated chicken, and then I'm skewering it. So I'll do that first. I've got a bowl. Into the bowl, I'm putting... One, two, say three tablespoons of plain natural Greek yogurt, but any any natural yogurt you've got would be great. I'm going to give it a squirt of tomato puree, a grind of salt. Now I I've got lurking. Some tandoori masala barbecue spice mix. If you haven't got this, you know, a bit of, a bit of curry powder, a bit of chilli flakes, anything really that's going to give it that spiciness. I'm just putting maybe a tablespoon in there. It's all make it up as you go along. Most of the time in my kitchen, it's make it up as you go along. So I'm just going to stir that concoction today through that. Taking on a nice sort of red, red <coughs> colour. And I've got four skinless and boneless chicken thighs and I've cubed it. I get chicken thighs for the barbecue because they're cheaper 
but they're also juicier. If you put um, a chicken breast on the barbecue, then yeah, I've done it loads of times. If that's all you've got, great. But it does dry out quicker. So this is the chicken thigh meat. And I'm just going to marinade. For anybody that doesn't know the term, it basically means you're gonna coat the meat, chicken, fish, whatever it is you're dealing with, in something that will help to tenderize it and obviously give it its own unique flavour, whatever it is you're marinating it in. So that's ours there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to thread these cubes onto, remember the pre-soaked sticks? I'm just going to skewer, <laughs> skewer the meat through on there. And because it's <laughs> it's not as uniform as a um, chicken breast, it's a bit some dangling down bits, but it's fine. Maybe four bits. And what I've done this first because it's the marinade needs some time to absorb. Really, overnight's ideal, but I didn't think of this till this morning. So it's going to get a few hours. Going to keep it in the fridge, and it will just take on that lovely masala. And then we'll do these on the barbecue this afternoon. If the sun comes out like it's promised, it's actually not looking all that, all that promising at the minute, but whatever, I'm sure. Well, I'm going to do it on the barbecue, come what may. Sun, rain, hail, shine, it's going on there. I'm just going to sneak the last bit onto that one. I'm going to wash my hands. And the next thing is, Oh yeah, Harley, if you can see it. Yeah, the next thing is, um, you know those hot dog sausages that you can get? You can get them now. Um, well, I was gifted some by my next door neighbour, very kindly. Um, and I'm going to use them today. Great for children. They all love a hot dog sausage. But this one, I've not done this before, but I'm sure it'll work. So I've got the hot dog sausages out of the packet. I'm going to skewer these as well. So I've got a few soaked skewers and I've got some pineapple chunks left over from when I did the Friday night fake away. So these have been in the fridge since then, a few days. And I'm just going to cut these into sort of, well, I've got, that's it. I'm going to do half, cut them into four per... A, a, a random one. And then I'm going to thread these onto the skewers and I'm going to intersperse this with pineapple to use them up. The, 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 these you can eat uncut. Well, they're cooked, you see. They're cooked. You can give them a flash on the barbie, bring them back to life a bit. That's lovely. I used to think years ago that they were really bad for you. But I've, I've been looking at the ingredients and it seemed fine. Quite lean. So I'm going to do this. I won't continue and do all of them because you've, you've got it now. But I'm going to twist it. We all like a twist idea. These remind me of the party food, don't they? Things on sticks. Pineapple and sausages. Little pickled onions and cheese. <laughs> it's, well, it is a variation on that exact theme. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them a little marinade of their own. Remember we've marinated the chicken just there. So this time, I'm going to do a honey and mustard glaze. So I'm just going to put into a little bowl a tablespoon or so of runny honey. And just because I've got this mustard in, this is the genuine sort of hot dog sausage mustard. It's not very powerful. So a Dijon would be just as good. Whoops, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I've got a silicone baking brush. I'm just going to mix those two ingredients together. It's a classic combination, honey and mustard. It's lovely on chicken. And I'm just going to brush 
See? I'm just brushing the pineapple and the sausages across with that. Wow, it smells great. And I shall continue to do the others. Then I'm going to pack both the chicken and these into the fridge and wait for the sun to come out. And then you'll be joining me in the garden to cook and um, lay the table. Come and join me. Bring a bottle. I'll be joking. We can't. Stay safe. Stay in your own homes. Stay in your own gardens. Do your own thing. And enjoy yourselves. See you soon. Bye. Welcome. Welcome to me, to me Barbie. Oh, finally made it. The sun actually didn't do its promised thing, but hey, it's still warm enough. Um, and I've got my gas Barbie on. We do have a, a, a charcoal one, but we, we ain't got any, any charcoal, so this is great anyway. This is a little Safari Chef Tour Kadak, and I love it. It's what I'll take when I go on a caravan and motorhome club trips. This is the I've got half and half on here. It's like a plancha, it's like a plancha and, and a traditional grill, so you can see. And what, look, these are the little sausage what? See, 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 see. Next door, next door's dogs decided to join in the, <laughs> the video. <laughs> Never mind. Um, got some red, got some red wine here for John. I'm fancy in white at the minute. So it's great. I've got the sides all ready to go. And I'm gonna put them yeah, they're ready. It's ready, it's ready, it's ready. Keep bobbing down. Perhaps I'll sit down. I turn the gas off. I will place the gorgeous chicken tikka skewers onto the board and <laughs> I love these. You know kids would love these. <laughs> Juicy that glaze on them that we did. And I just pop them in there like that. And just for the chicken I've got a couple of slices of lemon. Oops. Sorry, John. Sat there. <laughs> and squirt those on. John's just seen some house martins for the first one. one house martin for the first time this year, so he's very, very excited. Quite right. And that is the quick, easy, fast Barbie with two sides, glass of wine apiece. It's fantastic. So, if you've got a garden, please make the most of it. And if you haven't, it, oh, if we all stay home and stay safe, it won't be long. Really, it won't be long until this is just hopefully a, a distant memory and we can all get out and enjoy ourselves again. Um, so great. All we can do is make most of it. So that's what we're doing in our little pocket handkerchief today. Thanks for joining me. And um, well, we're going to tuck in now. So <laughs> bye for now. Bye.